Hey guys, Penguin Crafter here, and today we will be doing a tutorial on how to make a redstone printer. So, the resources that I'm going to use for, for now, I'm going to be getting more later, is I'm going to get some redstone, a redstone repeater, a comparator, a redstone torch, um, some quartz, a command block, and uh, let's do this. Actually, never mind. Okay, so grab a lever just because I can. Alright, so let's get started. Oh, yeah, we need hoppers, we need chests. Now, anyways, we'll get started by getting an item sorter set up. So, we will go up quite right some blocks, um, and put a chest with Ah, with a hopper facing down under it, like so. And this hopper will be going into another line of hoppers. Let's see. Well, the printer is going to have five colors, so we need um, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh gosh. So we're gonna be using nine hoppers like so in two. So those nine hoppers will be facing in a line into basically just air. And then I'm going to do one block down and then to the side. So we're going to have like a wall, kind of, here, and we're going to put hoppers facing that wall, like so, you can break that wall down, and lastly, let's build a smaller platform, smallish, like this. Okay. And actually, we can two, three, two, three, four, five. Oh gosh, I am doing absolutely terrible. So sorry. Five. So actually, we only need five. There we go. In fact, we will build a platform over here too. So now we will put a comparator here and then here. Actually, no, sorry. We built the platform a bit early. I know how I'm, what I'm doing. In fact, we will keep um, a platform here with comparators. So a line of hoppers, five of them going this way, and then five of them going into the comparators with a line of redstone like that, and then like that. And if you guys already know I'm making an item sorter, you, it's pretty easy to guess. And then, like that, and two, actually, two like this, this for Peters, and again, we can do 
that. Make sure to replace redstone. So it'll look like this. And we're not done yet. Nope. We are not. Oh, sorry. Now we will put a platform over here. Like so. And... Trying to think... Okay. A block... It's a redstone torch. Like that. And then... I'm actually going to do this... Because I'm going to make my item sorter just a bit different than how people usually do it. Like that. And then... Okay, now I need to think of this. How will I do this? Okay. So what's going to happen is... I actually need to do this. Like that. And hopefully you're following along. If you need to pause the video, you can. So we'll have some hoppers facing into a chest like that and then let's just test the speed here let's see I don't know, whatever Okay, I see what I can do. Just like this. I will do comparator right here. It's a bit awkward, but it is gonna work. I hope. Like that. Okay. So it will work. Yay. Oh, okay. So now that that is that... We will actually need to set up... Hoppers going into these chests. And then, something right there, and a hopper going into there, fix this, so now it should look like this. There will be a line of hopper, one hopper, under a chest going down, over this way, and then on one another line facing the comparators. One facing to the right, one facing to the left, one facing back here, one facing back here, and one facing over here. Now, we can break all this, since we will be doing redstone. Now, under all these chests we will put one hopper. Okay. Now, under this hopper we will have 
redstone torch. Under each one again. And by the use of the amount of repeaters where the placements are, it should work perfectly. So, after that, you will go out like this. And then, a comparator, some blocks, a repeater, just like that. And now we can do this. We'll go into a line of, not a line, just, just two command blocks, and each one will have that. And then a repeater. And again. Oops. Two command blocks. Over here, too. We might have to change the angle. But it is the same. a comparator, three redstone, and two command blocks. Well, gotta make it one more. Just like that. And lastly, over here, six. And then, there we go. Now, on each side, we will branch out one going down in the middle. This one can just be on that side. And there. Now we will have redstone going down to turn off this redstone torch with a one tick delay. Okay. Over here we will do the same. A repeater with a one tick delay. There we go. This one might be a bit weird to position. But, same thing, the one tick delay. Over here. And lastly, right here. Okay, now that that's all set up, we will work on the actual printer. We can set it up right here. We will only need a normal piston for over here. We will have one facing this way. And then just a block, empty space, and pistons. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And at the end, at the last piston, we will have a redstone torch. And then a repeater facing away. So facing the same way as that piston. Going into a block that goes up and travels over all these pistons. And the reason for this is so it will, when, when it starts printing, it will push, it will spawn a block here, push it, and it will keep and it will get to the end and it will make a line and it will push and when it reaches the end it will push out so now after that we will work on our command blocks with the set block so actually we need to finish our 
sorting system here. Actually, let's fix that. The repeater must be facing the comparator. Or whatever. That's how I like it. It can really be facing any way but down. But I just have it face that way. These have to be facing that way. Or whichever way your line is of other ones. Okay. But we need to set up our wool. Like, which one is which. So for my printing, I want to have just a green, a yellow, um, a light blue, a white, and a black wool. You can you can add more wools, but I just want to keep it simple for now. So I will just have these colors. So the one all the way over here, I'll make it white wool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 45, but instead I'm going to fill the other slots and have 41. So technically 45. And then this one will be black wool, so I'm going to take 45. Make sure that you fill every slot and leave 41 over here. And this one will be green. Forty-five. Okay, oh, what have I done? <laughs> Yellow. Oh gosh. Forty-five. Oh, we gotta do that. And lastly, light blue. Forty-five. Now, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one of each because I forgot something, but you'll just add one of each to fix the problem that I haven't done. Okay. Because the problem is, we just need to have one down here for each and every one. I forgot green. Okay. So, now after that, we will need to find a block. Okay, right here. Grab a command, our command block, and next to this, we'll put a redstone dust next to the piston, an empty space, a repeater, and a command block. Now, what we need to find is the coordinates of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my, my chat. I'm going to do slash set block with no spaces, space, and I'm going to hold tab to get the first coordinate. That's the X. And I'm going to press space and hold tab again. That's going to get the Y coordinate. And I'm going to lastly press space and hold tab again. And that's going to give me the Z coordinate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it in the top top slot in every, every command block. But I'm going to do, in the end, I'm going to do redstone underscore block. So wh what it's going to do is... I'm going to copy this really quick. It's going to set, it's going to place a block, it's going to place a redstone block right here. Actually, we need to up the coordinate by one. Hold on. Because otherwise it will place it under, it will place it in the ground. Let's grab the command there. Okay. So, after that, I'm going to go in each one like so, in the top command block of each row. So it's gonna kinda look like a this is gonna look like a weird like fighter jet from like Star Wars or something. I don't know. It's cool, I guess. But so now whenever like let's say we get a white wool, it will activate this which will allow it go going into this chest, and when it goes into this chest, 
it will activate and it will place that redstone block and it will also place a wool block and when it places that wool block the redstone block will push this so and then it this here let me do this it will we need to put the same coordinate in so after the redstone block places it'll quickly activate the repeater and then break the redstone block quickly after pushing so it'll create like a small little oh hold on let me grab a redstone block and demonstrate it'll place a redstone block and it will quickly delete it as you can see it still pushes it though it's quite quick so now we need to find the coordinates of this block the this wall that I'm standing on so I'm going to do the same thing set block tab 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 and I'm going to copy it now as for this it will this is the white wool so we will put in the bottom command the, the coordinates of that block that I showed you and we will just do wool so when we get when we put let's say oh, this wool right there it will go down into the sorting system go into here activate this last piece of redstone activate the repeater which turns off this redstone torch right under here which then allows the item to go through this hopper into this chest and it and once the item is in the chest it will activate this comparator which will spawn the redstone block in the wall and it will also press it'll actually allow this hopper to take the item so once it once the item goes in it'll this will take it out into the hopper as you can see so if an item goes in here it will take it out after placing the wool block and pushing it as you can see so now we need to find which one is the black wool so if we look down it is right here so we need to find the code of black wool which is wool 15 so black wool is wool 15 so I'm gonna go over here and set block wool space 15 so it's gonna do the same as the white wool but it will set black wool when you put a black wool in there now we are going to do the third one which is green well dark green or it just says green, which is wool 13. So we're going to go overhead and do wool space 13. And then this one is right here, which is yellow, which is wool 4. Wool 4. And lastly, we have light blue, which is wool 3. So now, now we have all of our colors set up. So, all we need to do is set up one last thing, which is a clock. Yes, it's very simple, but that's all we need is a clock. So, we're going to go back here, and we're actually going to set up just a redstone facing this chest. Three, three lines of redstone. And make sure you build a platform with it. We're actually going to add two more, so it's about six long, and we're going to add over here two blocks to the side, so it's so another six, three by two in total, six blocks, and over and down all the way down here, we're going to place one block, skip two, another block, skip two this way, and another. Now we're going to place a redstone torch facing this one a redstone torch facing this one and a redstone torch facing an empty one and we're going to connect it all together like this so now this will create a clock what we're going to do is add a repeater with the tick of two or three yeah sorry so the tick of three now we're going to go up torch up torch up 
And lastly, a torch. Another one. Now, we're going to go connect this. We're going to connect this. Make sure to add a repeater here. So what's happening now is it's turning the hopper on. It's basically locking and unlocking the hopper. When the redstone is powered, it's locking the hopper. But what we want is it to be almost always locked. So we're going to add this. Not a clock, just delaying the time of when it turns off. Now we are going to add three repeaters like that. And one of them is going to have a tick of three. Like that. And actually, I was just thinking that it might mess up if you have that like that. So we're actually going to slow down the clock a lot. Make it really slow. But it's still doing that. So we need to find the delay like so. And with a different speed of clock comes a different li dif different delay in this. So right now I'm doing two take on each and it's and over here as you can see it's just a little little too slow. We're going to add that. One more, I guess, over here. Looks good. It turns off for a short amount of time and turns back on. So it's actually three repeaters with a tick of three. So, now it's a quite slow on and off, which means that it will have time to sort and do the commands. So, let's just try it right now. Actually, first we need to make something. It's an on-off switch. Make our platform over here. I'm going to add this. Now let's see. I'm going to grab a lamp. I'm going to grab a lever. Or a lever, whatever. And... I'm going to need some stairs. The same ones. Because if you face the stairs upside down, pointing this way, when you're over here, it looks just like a normal block. So I'm going to make this platform more outwards because it's kind of hard to stand on. There we go. An on-off switch. Very important. Oops, we made it too high. Let's quickly... Actually, let's make it higher. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is so basically the clock is connected with the lever but when you pull the lever down it stops it or it the clock still goes but this is is always on so basically when this is down that means the printing is off which is means the hopper is locked so when it's down that means that you that's your time to uh basically do everything so, when it's down, that means it's actually, so yes, when it's down, it's off. When it's up, it's printing. And if we see here, we want to actually only be able to turn it off. We can't let it override stuff. So we're going to put a repeater facing this way, and there we go. So now, when it's up, it's on, we can add a roof here. So this is our printing area. You can make it look all nice. But what happens is, let's just say we would just want to make just two lines of white. That's pretty simple. We have it up, so it's going to start printing. This is all you have to do. And if you have any problems, you can ask me in the comments. I will try to help you with any problems. And that's basically the printer. You can make almost anything. 
as long as you basically keep the clock, just as I did with four tick and another four tick repeater, slowing it down, allowing everything to sort in time, and that is actually our final print. I'll, I'll, I, I'd like to cover this, and I like to add. Well, it can only be six, six blocks long, like so. So I'm going to make it seven and make it look all nice. You can print almost anything. Like I said already, I'm so tired I don't even know what I'm saying. But if you stay with your colors, it will work. So I want to print, so I'm going to turn it down. Let's quickly remove this. And I'm going to show you me printing something cool, like just a checker and pattern, like this. So black with white. And maybe some yellow green and blue with might have some more white it's quite a complicated pattern using all five colors let's see how we print mm -hmm. so right now we're printing the black and white layer now when you view your picture you have to view it like this because if you view it like this, it's going to be upside down. Unless you make your picture upside down in the chest. So you draw your picture in the chest, and it basically prints it out right here. It's actually quite simple when you get down to it. It's just a sorting system. Just sorting out the blocks. And I guess it's a bit complicated if you try to think about creating it. So here's our yellow green and our white and light blue give it a moment and then it will finish boom so that is our final picture it's quite cool you can create anything out of the five colors or more with the amount you've add but I'm gonna tell you some things if if you add more colors you're actually gonna have to add a delay to the first colors because if you basically do let's say white and then come down like 10 and then do black so, so white and black checker pattern what's gonna happen is the white is gonna place and it's gonna place again because the black is gonna take too long to go down the hoppers so you kinda have to test so basically you'd have to change you wouldn't want to change this you would want to put a repeater here and delay it however many ticks you need and actually for this if I want to make a light blue and white pattern which I did earlier it was almost going to break but it didn't so anyways that is my minecraft redstone printer in 1.8. I hope you liked it, and goodbye.